Hi. An often asked question about glucose monitoring is what's the difference between blood glucose and sensor glucose? Let me try and explain. Blood glucose meters measure capillary blood glucose with a finger prick. Whereas continuous glucose monitors like Freestyle Libre measure glucose levels from the interstitial fluid, which is a thin layer of fluid that surrounds the cells of the tissues below your skin, not from your blood. Interstitial fluid glucose results can be different from blood glucose results because of the time it takes for the glucose to move into the interstitial fluid from the capillaries. This difference is called the lag. With blood glucose monitoring, a lancet is inserted with pressure to reach the blood in the capillary. With continuous glucose monitoring, the sensor uses a filament inserted just under the skin where it floats in the interstitial fluid. When your glucose is changing rapidly, it rises in the blood sooner than it rises in the interstitial fluid. Let me use the analogy of a train to demonstrate the lag. Think of blood glucose as the engine on the train and the interstitial fluid glucose or sensor glucose as the coach. As carbohydrates are absorbed by the body, they enter the bloodstream first. On level ground, there can be very little difference in glucose levels. But when the train climbs a hill, just like glucose might after you have a meal, there's a bigger difference in those numbers. As you can see, sensor glucose still lags behind blood glucose. Now, after medication or exercise, the train may start to head down the hill, but blood glucose still leads, with sensor glucose lagging. When you scan using the Freestyle Libre, you get three different types of data. The current glucose level, the trend arrow, and the glucose graph. The trend arrows help you understand how quickly your glucose levels are changing, allowing you to act instead of react. To summarize, glucose enters the blood before it enters the interstitial fluid. The difference in the timing is called the lag. Blood glucose and sensor glucose readings don't always match. Therefore, it is important to look at all the aspects of your scan to understand your glucose levels. Also, important point to remember is that sensor glucose is clinically proven to be accurate in adults and in children. Now, you know.